Woolly mammoths trekking across the grassy plains of the subarctic. A bit like Jurassic Park? Perhaps no longer. Scientists around the world are pursuing de-extinction projects with the promise of creating a hybrid mammoth elephant within the next decade. The woolly mammoth lived during the Pleistocene period, which lasted from about 2.5 million years ago to 11,700 years ago. They survived through the great temperature transitions on the mainland till about 10,000 years ago. And when humans were building the pyramids, the woolly mammoth still survived on small islands in Siberia and Canada. This majestic animal still inspires our imagination today. In common with their elephant cousins and humans, they mourned their dead, they educated the next generation, they shared origins in Africa, and they migrated into Europe and Asia as we did. Why did they go extinct? There are a number of theories, but nobody knows for sure. It was most likely temperature change and habitat loss which contributed to their decline. However, early humans might have overhunted them as one mammoth could feed a tribe for weeks. So if their extinction was partly our own fault, can we atone for it today? Well, technically, yes. Today we know we could, at least in theory, recreate extinct animals through our understanding of DNA. It's not possible to simply extract mammoth DNA like they did dinosaur DNA from a mosquito in Jurassic Park. DNA simply doesn't survive that well. As soon as something dies, its DNA comes under attack from outside organisms and fragments into smaller pieces. The level of decomposition depends on many factors, consistency of the temperature of the burial site being the main one. But today, using modern technology, scientists can isolate pieces of mammoth DNA from other DNA found in a carcass or a fossil. Where do we get mammoth DNA? Siberia has literally tons of frozen mammoths in the ground. They can take that incomplete mammoth DNA sequence and splice fragments onto the backbone of an Asia or African elephant chromosome. From that modified elephant chromosome, the next step would be to use an elephant as a surrogate, or grow an embryo in an artificial womb. In 2017, scientists at Harvard announced they were close to creating a hybrid mammoth elephant embryo and could make it a reality within two years. These first specimens won't be exact copies of what once lived. They will be half elephant, but given the right environment and time, evolution may work upon the animals and something very similar to the original woolly mammoth could result. The permafrost lands in the north is the right environment for such a creature. In a similar project, Russian scientists are attempting to recreate an ice age ecosystem by setting up a reserve in Siberia for bison, musk oxen, wild horses, and the future woolly mammoths. Despite its name, Pleistocene Park isn't a tourist attraction. It's not even a de-extinction project. Rather, it's a radical environmental scheme to combat global warming by slowing the thaw of Arctic permafrost. Founded in 1996, the aim of Pleistocene Park is to resurface the area in grasslands. People have the misconception that forests filled with trees are the best for the environment. This isn't always the case though. Research suggests that the grasslands will reflect more sunlight than existing forests and tundra. End result, the Arctic will absorb less heat. Data showed that during the winter, when the air temperature was negative 40 degrees Celsius, the ground covered by snow stayed relatively warm at negative 5 degrees Celsius. Yet in grassy areas where animals had crushed the snow, the ground temperature dropped to negative 30 degrees Celsius. Short grass and animal trampled snow offers little padding, allowing winter's freeze to reach deep into the earth. Trapped beneath the permafrost is a ticking time bomb, more carbon dioxide than if we burned all of the world's forests three times over. As the world warms, we are getting closer to melting the permafrost. This cooling of frozen soil will keep carbon dioxide locked in. Reintroducing woolly mammoths, scientists believe, will benefit the new environment. They will knock down trees and help grass grow and generally be good for the planet. Some argue we're messing with nature to bring back extinct animals. Though others would point out, much of the environmental havoc suffered by the planet has come about because of human expansion. De-extinction and rebuilding habitats is putting nature back a bit closer to how it was when we found it. Does the future offer a glimpse into the bygone world, with woolly mammoths roaming the vast grasslands of the Arctic? What's next? Woolly rhinoceroses and mastodons running free, observed ever by the watchful eye of a saber-toothed tiger licking its mouth? Tune in to find out. Hey everybody, John from Mammoth Animations here. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, you can support us by enrolling in this free course. In this course, you will learn how to make games without coding. This course is normally $30, but today it's free. Enroll today before it's too late.
please like this video and subscribe to our channel. The more subscribers we get, the better animations we can produce. Also, consider supporting us on Patreon. The more patrons we get, the more animations we can produce. We here at Mammoth Animations love making these animations, and if you want to support us on Patreon, we can make a whole bunch more. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another animation next week.